Hi everyone, I know it's definitely been a minute. <laughs> I, look how grotty we are! Oh no! Thought I'd come out in my garden where I definitely feel the most happy and I just want makeup on. I felt like it looks really powdery. It's definitely not been the most positive year for us and it's funny because I'm probably in my more positive mindset than I've been in a long time which is probably a good thing because it's definitely been a rough year. Anyway I'm here to talk to you a bit about why I haven't posted in a while and just sort of air a couple things out there because this is what it's for. I do want to start posting again. Um, we've just had a really big year, a really big year. But I'm just, in short, it's been a lot of health issues. Sorry for the background noise. I had to, to get my daughter in the shower. But uh, it's been a rough year health-wise. Just so many things just occurring. And it's all right. Like, we're dealing with it and we're learning to look on the bright side of things. And it's just, we're in a lot better place than we ever have been. And it's, it's beautiful. And it's just every now and then it's a rough day, which today is... A rough day but and I don't even know why I decided to film today today's gonna be the day that I film which is one of the worst days <laughs> but I am okay I am fine I have some things that I just have to get used to in regards to it being my new normal and that's all right I still go to the gym I've been going to the gym since February I usually go um, three times a minimum a week which sounds crazy because I haven't really lost much weight um, and I have like I'll have a week off here and there if it's the kids on school holidays or they get sick or something like that occurs but I haven't actually gone in a couple weeks because my health just, I, I was in hospital for it just a little bit but um, there was you know my health leading up to that wasn't the best and it was school holidays as well so yeah you know, it's just, it is what it is. The people that have it 10 times worse than we have it and we're just feeling grateful that, you know, where we are mentally is in a lot better place than we ever have been. And yeah, but I just, I'm just letting you guys know there's a reason that I've been away <laughs> um, and I'm sorry and I apologize, but I'm getting back into it. Just bear with me. Um, I'm going to post as much as I feel up to it during this busy and crazy time but yeah I'm really getting it back into it and I'm excited so hopefully you like what I have in store for you in this video. I do also want to point out that so many great things have happened this year as well it's been awesome we had an amazing holiday our holiday was just just really opened up so much for us um, and it really put us in a good place like mentally and yeah, so as much as like the bad things that have happened this year, there's just been so many beautifully, beautiful, great things that have happened to us as well. So I just want to point that out. It's not been miser miserable the whole time. I'm actually in a really good place and I'm really enjoying the opportunity that I have to stay home and discover so much more about myself, including my book that I have been creating and I'm so excited. It's going to be done in a few weeks and then I just need to proof it. There's a couple of things I want to do before I release it, but it's a poetry book, like poetry quotes, like that sort of thing. Um, and it's something I've been working on for a little bit now and poems and stuff that I've written for many years that are in it. And also like recent ones that I've written, like even one that I wrote the other day that is in this book. So I hope that maybe even some of you really like that sort of thing and maybe you'll want to see it and we'll purchase it in the future but that's something I will talk about in another video okay well let's be real and honest here <laughs> I did buy a strawberry plant at one point I did not take care of it <laughs> but it's just chilling here for now um, these this is of uh, violas as you can see there is some more buds forming I've been picking these and drying these and I will tell you why a little bit later but yeah, these um, are going to pop up and then I'll pick these ones and hopefully some new ones come out. Um, so those are viola, which I think is a type of pansy flower. Then we have some fancy carnations that I have bought. 
and I can't wait to plant this somewhere so these like really blossom and then I can dry these ones out as well but that pink is just beautiful I absolutely love it so I definitely need to see what's going on here it's a little bit dried out this one almost died <laughs> um, it's a beautiful yellow flower I've already picked one and dried it but uh, this did die but now these all these green leaves are coming out some new flowers are forming so I'm really really excited I don't exactly know I think it's a type of daisy but I'm not a hundred percent sure but really really loving that and then I have my mulberry tree and that is definitely going to produce a few mulberries for me they're just all up this entire stalk and all the way down so we're going to enjoy some mulberries very soon. Over here in my little pot gardens, which you might have seen. Um, I've already cut some of this and then I have dried it out. So I have some dried parsley stored and now it's growing back. A little miss wants to get involved. <laughs> what are you doing with the stuff? Um, I have already cut these chives. I probably need to do a little bit of trimming of the dead ones here so they can keep growing back. This is also dill, which is growing back. I've already cut before. This is my lettuce. It's not really turning out as nice as <laughs> I hoped. Um, I did thin it out and it started growing because I had too many bunched up. I have poppies planted here, but I really don't know if they're going to come out. Because I don't know if those are weeds or if they are poppies. Anyway, mint. It's true what they say. Make sure you put it in a separate pot. Because it goes wild and it grows so fast like I've been picking these almost daily but that was the original one and then all these ones formed now these ones and it just keeps spreading out no matter where you go it just make sure you put your own mint your mint in a separate container to everything else I want to definitely get another pot or something bigger for this to really spread out but we have made some mint chocolate um chocolate chip ice cream with the mint from this garden and my daughter loves it son isn't a huge fan but i achieved something <laughs> andy come back over here look at all my passion fruits they are really really coming together um i am working on this i will quickly show you this this is kind of like the entrance into our back door, which is the entrance that everyone uses. No one uses our front door. So I've kind of teared it up. I've pulled all the old weed mat and everything up and sort of like a pause until I can get some landfill in and then I'll get the garden mulch and everything and then plant a couple of um, different plants here. Oh, all right, she's gonna go play with the bed. <laughs> good old magpie here in Australia they really aren't as bad as what you might have seen <laughs> <Which is laughs> they really aren't dangerous they are beautiful creatures <laughs> but there's just a little inside Andy <laughs> anyway so that's definitely an area that I'm in currently working in um, the rocks oh my god <laughs> It took a long time. Anyway, what did the birdie run away from you? <laughs> and then in here I have my snow peas. Um, we're sort of like mid to, to uh, mid winter ish, um, and so I probably started those snow peas a little bit late, but they are growing like mad. I feel like in the two days this is actually going crazy. Look, the birdie's back. Look, Andy. Look. You probably just want some food. I haven't got food at the moment though. Look, there's a birdie, look. Oh, you seen it? You don't care about the birdie. No, 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 please don't wreck my my vine. Um, No, don't wreck my vine. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, so we have the snow peas. No, nope, Annie. They're growing, hopefully I get a couple of snow peas before the heat comes in. We've still got a month, month rough, oh no wait, what month went? We've got about a month left, just under a month to hopefully get some snow peas. Then I've got a blueberry plant. Um, this one can just stay in the pot um, and grow some 
blueberries from the pot, which is very similar to my mulberry plant. That one you don't actually have to plant in the ground. It is a sort of dwarf version and it can stay into the pot. I keep having like all these little weeds pop up, so I'm consistently like getting rid of them, which is annoying. And sometimes I just don't know if that's the seed I planted or if it's the weed, <laughs> which is really annoying. Um, capsicum just really goes... Oh. Okay, <laughs> capsicum just really grows so slow here where I am. Like, there's all these flowers. It's not even a tall plant right now. These are just flowers that my kids picked for me that ended up in the garden. Here, yeah, Andy, do you want those? Then, no, 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 no. And now I have a bunch of these, which is some cos lettuce. I've also got iceberg lettuce that I'm going to plant. I need to move these back so Andy doesn't get to them right now. <laughs> I have my bunch of rosemary, which I have used this for so much. I keep cutting it, it keeps growing. I love it, but I still want more of it. Uh, then we have over here, I have some bok choy that I want to plant. I have some lemon balm. Oh, this does smell amazing. And then over here, I have planted two of these times. Um, out of the container they're here because they grew so well next to this rosemary last time but I also want to spread them out and get more out of it so I'm gonna plant those somewhere else I also have sage here because I really want to grow a bunch of sage for many 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 different reasons and I'll get more into that very shortly I did plant a bunch of like cucumber seeds and stuff here but I don't think they really took I think the seeds are probably just a bit too old they've been sitting in the shed for a bit and that's the pot that the passion fruit is growing out of. What are you doing, buddy? I don't have anything, I'm sorry. There's all my doggy toys right now. But I've just been chucking all the bunch of dead thyme and basil and potatoes here for now. But I have these four beds that I want to fill in, but I can't leave them here because they just don't get enough sun here. So I have to plan where I'm going to put these. But the plan is to grow so many herbs so many flowers and I really really want to but yeah grow so many flowers and so many herbs because I really want to get into like herbalism and start sort of doing like the more like medicinal herbs or just just herbs just to have in our kitchen and so forth and other uses that you can do but there's something that I really am looking into and something I'm probably going to study a little bit um, not I don't think to become a business or anything like that it's just something that I want to do for myself and my family and I'm just loving in the garden and it's something I'm passionate about but I do also have these okay so these are starting to look really bad I really need to get these planted but I have a whole bunch of calendula flowers because I have so many medicinal benefits um, so hopefully I can get a whole bunch of those going and then just over here I've already picked at these um, I have a whole bunch of Ironman spinach um, because I just want to keep drying out all the spinaches, spinach leaves and then also use these in our salads and such as well. But um, as you might have noticed, there's like the bok choy that I have. I, bok choy, not bok choy. The lemon balm, I've already been picking at these even though it's still just in a pot. And I've been cutting heaps of this and I have been drying out stuff already. And I will go and show you that in just a second. Now these are two plants that I've actually kept alive. I don't know what this one's called. It's a good old plain leafy green. All right, here we go. We do have a thing. Oh, it's actually meant to get flowers in certain seasons. I just thought it was a nice leafy green plant. I've got it outdoors in filtered light, so I've just kept this on the table outside. I just like a bit more greenery. I did have this one inside, but I feel like it just wasn't getting enough water and light. So I have taken it out and it has improved a bit. Um, and it's gorgeous but I keep forgetting to water it when it's inside but I kind of just want to create this whole like theme of just different outdoor like outdoor slash indoor plants underneath my cover just to make it like a very welcoming scene when you walk outside and then I've also been picking a whole bunch of my lavender this one I am naturally drying but I have also put some in my dehydrator so this is my lavender i have harvested from this about four times already and it's still going crazy there's only three plants here but these are the main two and this little one's sort of struggling here but it is starting to produce now but these this is crazy and there's there's heaps of bees around i don't know if you can really see them let's try and zoom in on one there we go 
heaps of bees there's always bees around here which is great because I bring it around to my garden but I can't believe how much two plants produce and I've learnt that you know where to cut it from to try and keep them growing and so forth but yeah let's go inside to see what I have done so I decided to grab it all and take it outside because it's just a lot more bright <laughs> now I have I haven't put a little label on this because I just sort of got it out but this is dried spinach I have dried lilies and I have to use band-aids because I did not have any labels but I did just recently buy some I have a whole bunch of daisies here all dried out this is oh my god I love opening this jar this is my lavender that might not look like much compared to the jar but that is like three harvests of lavender in there and then I have my little viola flowers that I showed you earlier this is a bunch of the rosemary that I've um, dried. Now this, if you actually put this amount into this con container here, it would be up to here. Like, so it might not look like much, but when you put it in one of these containers, it's up to here. So there's actually quite a bit there. Um, and then over here, what's this? Oh, that's my spinach. My bad, that's my dried spinach. And this one here was actually my lemon balm. So I better put a label on that. And so now, now that I do have labels, um, this is my time. I only put it in a little jar for now, but I do plan on growing a whole heap of this. So hopefully, eventually, I will fill a bigger jar. Now I didn't. I do have heaps more jars that are like free and ready to use, but I thought I would put these in this so I could use it in the house. But this one says coriander, but it's actually parsley. This is my dried parsley that I have done. I'm trying to hopefully get you. A decent look at that but that's my dried parsley and here I've got my dried chives and also my dill so this is sort of what I've started with this is what I've got so far I don't know obviously lilies you don't eat or anything like that these lilies are mainly I'm hoping I can get an essential oil out of these but now I feel like I might need to do this essential oil when they are fresh that I need to double check, but <laughs> most of the time people are drying things to make their oils, so I just pop them in there. So before they died, I wanted to dry a bunch, but I definitely need to look into that, whether I need to do it with fresh or dried. But either way, they're sitting there ready to use. They were a purple variety, but obviously after they dry, they turn to a different color. I had a whole bunch of different mixed colored daisies that are in here. Um, I could definitely get a whole bunch more to fill that, but yeah this is this is what I'm working with and this is what I've started with and I'm really happy with it I'm so glad that I've decided to take this more um, healthy journey and maybe gradually over time I will start using uh, more natural products in our home so that you know we don't inhale or consume too many chemicals and all this extra stuff they pop into your foods and everything these days because I wanted to grow food, but you just, unless you have enough room and you use this whole yard, <laughs> um, that's not something that is really going to be beneficial for us. Whereas at least if I do uh, the herbs, our herbs are natural. Um, I try buy better food and um, I can learn how to do um, teas and tinctures and essential oils and different things that um, can be beneficial, like medicinal uses. So I'm very excited for this journey and hopefully you follow me along. I know I've probably babbled on a bit now, but hopefully this is something that you're interested in and maybe even something you want to go on a journey for yourself as well. Um, but I can definitely tell you, even if just you have two lavender plants and you create your own little like pillow thing so that you can smell it underneath your pillow or in your pillow for um, a couple of nights to get you some better night's sleep. Um, I find you need a lot of it to make it a really, really strong one. Like opening this jar right now, it just smells amazing. It's definitely one of my favorite smells right now. But yeah, so thank you for coming along this little journey. I'm sorry I am not posting as much. I definitely have gone through the wars a little bit and hopefully I can upload a little bit more. Again, definitely not as much as what I was, but when I can, I will post and you will see me. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.